This week, we will finally get to know who won between Trump and Kamala Harris for the 2024 election. So who's going to be the next president of the United States of America? This brings a whole lot of uncertainty as we're going to see in today's video for Bitcoin, who a lot of people are saying we can expect a 10% up or down movement just after learning who the new president will be. Other than that, there are people that speculate that even like this, we can still hit 100K independently of who is going to win. Other people are scared that the Fed's going to act and is going to try to boycott and block Bitcoin as we heard this before uh, multiple times. But amidst all of this, we have Elon Musk doing what he's really good at, which is pumping meme coins. And we're going to talk about all of this in today's video. So stay tuned. Welcome back, everyone. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are doing great. Today, we're going to be looking at uh, the topics. We're going to be looking at our options, if it makes sense for us to open or not any options, mainly because by tomorrow, the time we're watching this, all the votes should have uh, ended. And then we have to wait between 24 hours to maybe by the end of the week just to know who's going to be the next president of the United States. So that being said, there's a lot of uncertainty in the markets and it may or may not be a smart move to get into Bitcoin or Ethereum uh, selling these options before we know this data. So that being said, Bitcoin is currently at 68,832 and Ethereum is at 2,460. Nine. If we head over to the copy trading, we are doing fantastic. November so far, we've done 0.88, so almost 1% in the first two days of November. Right now, we are on November 4th, but October, we ended with 10% round, September with 10% as well, August with 7.41. So the PL for the last 30 days is at 8.50%, which is fantastic for the zero dt we've gone over the 530 uh so far so if you want to check it out this strategy we almost have half a million dollars here earning around 10 percent per month this is passive income so every month so far we've made an average of eight to ten percent monthly and this is very impressive to say the least so if you want to check out the copy training strategy it's going to be the first link in the description we have no kyc you can start depositing from ten dollars so you don't need a lot of cash and here we trade for you with these two strategies the phoenix is a little bit more conservative but even so so far we've made 35 percent since this strategy started and october for example 1.7 percent september 1.5 august 0.5 so you can see how good these both of these strategies are and we have a forecast of around 24 percent per year that is fantastic returns you're not going to find anything like this uh, in tradfi you're not going to find anything like this in staking unless you're going very very risky so these are doing very very well and it is the best features that we have so far on the topics regarding liquidation regarding pricing of bitcoin and ethereum if you go to the weekly you can see that we have a huge huge amount of liquidation right here at 73,000 and at 73 and a half thousand dollars but also at the bottom you see is also super super hot and if we shift that to the 24 hour you can see that we have both a top and a bottom with a bottom being uh way more hotter meaning that we might be looking at the 68,000 again before going back up so that being said we have a few articles right here that we're going to be covering of course you can check them out by yourself later and here we have a case of people trying to sell the news right after the election and we have a bid-esque spread which is very wide we have a bid liquidity and depth all the way between 67 and 65 thousand dollars and the ask the ask liquidity and the ask depth is all the way at the 73 thousand dollar mark so you can see between 65 and 73 there is a huge gap there's a lot of people longing there's a lot of people shorting and huge amounts of money will be liquidated when uh, one direction wins over the other. So in between these two prices, we are most likely going to see huge price volatility. So price staying between that range, trying to liquidate either the top or the bottom. But we also see a lot of people saying that we're going to be forming a bottom right now that we already formed the bottom in the 15 minute chart for tomorrow. So we're looking at short term movement here, but still looking at liquidation like we did before, we can see that we have heat spots all the way at the top and at the bottom. So that is scary for us because we don't have a precise direction because if Kamala Harris wins, most likely what we're going to see is a very huge red candle. But also if Trump wins, most likely what we're going to be seeing is a huge green candle. And I'm not talking about the long term. I'm just talking about the short term, which we should expect right after the announcement of 
who won and who lost. Here we have an article. I'm not going to go into this uh, too much, but here the writer says something very interesting that even though whoever wins may affect the short term, the long term, Bitcoin can still hit the 100K because of the graph, because of the technical analysis and what Bitcoin is as fundamentals of Bitcoin. So even though in the short term, if Kamala Harris wins, we can see a huge red candle or at least a few days or weeks even of red we eventually will see Bitcoin rising back to, as he says, over $100,000 here because of strong fundamentals of Bitcoin and because of the graphs that we already showed you before on after halving on Q4 versus uh, the halving period, the halving cycle, all of these things that we covered before. Right now on Polar Market, we see that Trump is at 56.2% uh, probability of winning and Kamala is at 43.9%. So these numbers, uh, as I said in the last video, I think they tend to go up and down and the market's going to be betting on these numbers until almost the end of the election cycle. So here we have a lot of speculation, but as the title says, we have 300 50 million uh, crypto liquidations because of the elections. So even though no one knows who won or who will win so far, we are seeing a lot of movement and price impact in the markets that is getting a lot of people liquidated. And here we have a trader on uh, Twitter saying that uh, what he can expect or what we should expect is green or red according to who's going to win. And he says that on the weekly charts, we can expect at least a 10% movement. So on the upside or downside, we should be looking at a huge volatility and movement towards one side. So last but not least, what I want to talk about is this meme coin right here. Uh, I usually don't talk about meme coins, but Elon strikes again by promoting and pumping uh, meme coins on Twitter. There was a case of this uh, squirrel and also a raccoon, I think, who were taken away from the owners and they got killed because they were not domestic animals. So they got killed. And I'm not going to be here complaining or talking about politics or if that's right or wrong, because it is not my duty to say so. But look at this meme coin, the peanut meme coin on Solana. Of course, Solana is being the king of uh, meme coins lately. This meme coin from people who got in on November 1st and held it all the way through Elon talking about this meme coin and so on and so forth, they could have made 35,000% returns. So there's a lot of people, even friends of mine, I'm not very good with meme coins. So I did not hear about this meme coin until it was too late for me to get in. But there's a lot of people that I know that made millions, and I'm talking about millions of dollars or almost $1 million with just a few hundred, maybe a few thousand dollars invested right early because they are meme coin chasers. They know what they're doing with meme coins and they made a lot of money just because Elon Musk talked about it. Again, I'm not going to get into details if what he does is pump and dump. If what Elon does is correct, it is illegal. I'm not going to get into this, but this is just a fun thing to share regarding meme coins in general as a whole. I think what we could do right here, awaiting for elections instead of selling calls or selling puts, what we could do is we can actually buy a call and buy a put on Bitcoin. So this way it is cheaper. We can put it all the way through Friday and the profits of one side because again, we're expecting a huge movement. The profits on one side should cover the losses of the uh, other side. That's not going to be profitable. That is going to expire worthless, most likely. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for Friday and I'm going to buy a call at the money and a put at the money. So let's do that right now and I'll show you the results before we end the video. A little bit expensive, but I bought a call and a put. The call I bought at strike 68,000, the put I bought at 69,000, and this is all the way through Friday. So I'm going to be taking a look at these and close them as fast as possible. Even if I make 5, 10, 15 percent, it should be enough to make some profits on one side. So let's take a look. This is a gamble. And whenever we had the margin for the whole portfolio, the portfolio margin and the strategy builder, what we could do, we can actually build a butterfly or a condor that would allow us to profit from volatility. So one side side movement, we should be able to make money uh, independently on which side it chooses. So this will be it for the end of the video. Thanks so much. Again, check out the topics. It's the first link in the description. Just follow it. You can start depositing $10 and start earning on the copy trading. Thank you very much. And I'll catch you guys on Wednesday. Peace.